to make a funky soap. <laughs> Reminiscent of an ugly couch from the 1970s. So how could I possibly refuse? <laughs> this was from someone that I met at the market, uh, at the uh, farmer's market recently, and uh, stated that they had an ugly orange and brown couch back in the 70s. Here's a picture of one similar to it. And she liked patchouli and sandalwood and those kind of smells, and so she wanted something along those lines. And so this is what I'm creating. I have sandalwood powder. I have my achiote. And those are my colorants. Actually, I do add in a little bit of TD to lighten one of the colors. And I add a little bit of activated charcoal to darken. And you'll see that as we go along here. This will be fragranced with patchouli essential oil, tea tree essential oil, and a little bit of peppermint essential oil. And her order was only for four bars, but I'm going to make it in this little plastic office divider mold that I use. That'll make a little bit extra for me, too. Dividing up my Achiote or Anato seed into three different containers. And they are in varying amounts. Um, so I put a little, just a, about a quarter of a teaspoon in the first one, about a teaspoon in the next one, about a teaspoon and a half in the next one. Now I'm adding just a few drops of TD to the middle one there. And then I'll add just a little bit of the oil to each of those, just so that they can absorb it and uh, begin hydrating before I add soap to them. Just may, it helps them to incorporate a little bit easier. And now my lye water and oils at room temperature, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix them. Now, I won't add the sandalwood. I started to, <laughs> but I won't add that sandalwood powder until after I have divided up the soap. I'm going to stick blend this to emulsion. I just want to make sure that these colors blend in very well with this light base color. And since it is a special request, I want to make sure she gets what she wants. So I'm actually just stirring here. I'm trying not to overmix this at all. And now I'm just going to divide this up amongst those three little cups there. And if you're wondering, no, I never get soap in my coffee cup. <laughs> that was just the sandalwood powder I'm adding into the base. And I love the smell of the sandalwood powder. I really do. It's, it's faint, um, but it's, it's there. You can't miss it. So I'm just using the little milk frother to mix the different colors. As I mentioned earlier, here I am adding in just a little bit of the activated charcoal. And I'm trying to be so careful because I can't tell you how many times I've created black <laughs> by adding too much activated charcoal. You really have to treat this with respect. 
and fortunately I didn't get too much. I actually ended up with some marvelous colors. I was impressed with how it actually turned out. And it was just by accident, not planning. <laughs> because that brown turned out to be just like the brown on the couch in that image. Now comes the fun part. Don't you enjoy this part of soap making? And if you're not yet a soap maker, if you ever do decide to make soap, you will find that the creation, the birthing, as it were, of the soap is the most fun part. And this is completely out of our minds. You know, this is not someone else's design. It's not someone else's colors. It's our own. And there may have been 10,000 people who have used the very same ingredients, uh, the same mold, the same everything, but it won't be exactly like yours. You can be a true artist, and you don't even have to be a great artist. That's one of the wonderful things about the forgiving nature of making soap. It allows you to experiment and still make something beautiful and usable. Of course, I say all this because I'm imperfect and I'm making excuses <laughs> for my imperfections, right? But it's so much fun. Um, I certainly don't do this for the money. Oh, I sell a little. That's great. I mean, it allows me to buy more oils and make more soap and, and do more videos. But this is why I do it. It's for this part, the videos. This is truly something I take a lot of joy in, and some of you seem to like it, too. And I love what some of you do. Uh, I am just amazed at what some of the soapers here on YouTube are capable of. Now, I do want to tell you that I am working on some other material as well that's non-soap related. I won't uh, load it onto this channel. I'm, I have a separate channel that I'll be doing that on. It's more personal stuff about my life. And um, I just didn't want to bum out <laughs> you folks in soaping videos. And this is going to be about some of the struggles that I've dealt with throughout my life. Uh, from childhood up to the present. And um, I'm a happy, fairly happy person, I think. But when I do my storytelling about my past, I get a little maudlin and can sound a little depressed. And that's not something that fits with soap making. <laughs> so I decided to do a separate channel for that kind of stuff. But I'm doing it because I believe it's necessary. I want others to know that they're not alone. And I don't know that there are a lot of people my age, or yours, or I don't know, um, who talk about these things. And for me, I've never discussed some of these things with another human. And so to open up on a YouTube video is completely out of my comfort zone. But I think this channel, doing the soaping, has given me that courage. Talking to each of you has helped me to be who I want to be. And I just want to thank you for that. All right, so let's move forward here. I'm going to get the uh, skewer and just do a little design on top here. I would like each of you to please answer one question in the comments of this video. And it's very simple. Do you have a secret that you would not share with the public? You don't have to say what that secret is. Just answer 
Yes, I have a secret that I would never release on YouTube. Or no, I don't have any secrets that I wouldn't share on YouTube. <laughs> I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Thanks, everyone. So we'll be back in a moment for the cut. Okay. I cut this when it was too soft. Way too soft. And as such, um, I have to stop after two bars here because I found that the soap was just, well, too soft and it was very difficult to work with. And I'll show you in a moment here on my gloves. The soap is just coming off in my hands. And um, I realized I didn't wait long enough. But I love the colors. It really came out nice, but I cut it too quickly. So I ended up just letting this sit for a few more hours, and then I came back and finished cutting it. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I look forward to reading your comments. Please do comment. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.